when I first started getting interested into PRS guitars, I would ask some of my player friends here in Nashville, many of whom were already PRS artists, if you had to choose one, what PRS would it be? The answer was always, without a doubt, a DGT. So I thought about it and I said, why is everyone recommending the DGT? And after I thought about it, it made sense because this guitar was designed by one of the busiest working guitar players of all time, Mr. David Grissom. For the kinds of gigs I was doing at the time, this guitar made perfect sense. There's times when I would just travel with only the DGT. I would really roll the dice and hope I wouldn't break a string, but it covers everything. Blues, rock, country, R&B. I could do all of it. Obviously, we know the details, dual humbuckers, coil split, tremolo, so it's got all of those things you need to cover any kind of sound on your gig. So I had them build me this DGT, mainly with the custom color. This is champagne gold metallic. I saw it on the internet somewhere. I thought it looked really cool. Not quite the gold like David's gold tops. It's more of that Ludwig drum champagne sparkle. It's a back black, satin, fit, satin neck. Uh, and aside from that, it's a pretty stock DGT. Uh, and it's been a workhorse for a long, long time. So now you've seen probably all the videos. They've decided to do a DGT in the SE line, which brings the cost down considerably. And if you've done your PRS homework, you know that they don't cut corners, particularly when it comes to a design with an artist's name on the headstock. And I really enjoyed watching PRS's videos with David, talking about you know the back and forth that they did on these guitars. When I heard they were doing this, I was like, man, Dave is gonna put him through the ringer because he's a real deal pro that knows every inch of this guitar and what it should feel like and what it should sound like. So if you've been interested in an SE version of the DGT, I mean, it's finally here and you probably have watched a lot of videos talking about specs and people going through it with a fine tooth comb. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna play mine against the core or my core against the SE that they sent me. It's a beautiful one. It's, you know, got the flame top, it's got the birds, so it's a little bit different, obviously, visually than mine. But man, I think you're gonna be shocked because these sound really close. So we'll run both guitars through a PRS HDRX20. That'll go to an aux box, out to your ears. For some extra overdrive push, I'll add an MXR Mini Timmy. And we'll just have some fun comparing them. Like I said, I've done it a little bit. It is pretty mind-blowing how a guitar like this can sound as good as a guitar like that. Guys, I'll put links for everything below. There'll be affiliate links, so if you wanna purchase any of this gear, the channel gets a little bit of a commission and helps us keep doing fun gear demos like this. And if you wanna check out my entire library of courses, you can do so with the link below. It's free for 14 days, just a low monthly cost. After that, that's a sale link. Take advantage of that, go download some tracks, some tabs, and get some lessons. <laughs> So the humbuckers sound pretty close. Let's hear the single coils.
All right, I got the Timmy pedal wired up for our overdrive sound. We're gonna push the amp with that. And we'll just take the SE on the bridge pickup into the HDRX20. Let's hear what that sounds like. Establish our bass tone settings here. Yeah, pushing the amp a little bit, but let's do it with the pedal. All right, let's do that with the, you know, the both guitars like we did in our clean example. Hear how it shakes out. So there you have it, the SEDGT. We did it in record time with clean tones, overdriven tones, humbuckers, single coils, compared it to the core model. I did those quick cuts so we could really hear the differences quickly, and there wasn't a whole lot of difference to my ear. You know, the newer strings on this may have given it a more snap, and there's a little bit of snarl and bite to these pickups that the core model doesn't have. The core's a little smoother, but I do this kind of thing a lot and I didn't hear a lot of drastic differences. If your heart's always been set on a core model, whether it's a 594 or a DGT, then, then shoot for the stars, you know, make yourself happy. But if your you know, budget is under a thousand bucks, I, I gotta say, these are pretty solid instruments and they're really doing a lot of cool stuff with the SE line. But I'd love to hear what you guys thought about the comparison, what you think about the SE line in general. Is PRS really gaining ground on some of that, that under thousand dollar price point? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them in the comments. You know, and congrats to PRS and David Grissom. They really did an awesome job on this model. When, you know, someone like David Grissom, who's a persnickety player, he can hear everything he can feel you know nuances of the instrument and for him to partner and trust prs on an instrument you know of this lower price point is actually kind of a big deal so that says a lot about the brand that they were really willing to work with him to get him what he was satisfied with out to the market if you made it this far you like the demos you like the teaching i'd love it if you subscribe to the channel hit the thumbs up maybe even ring the bell so you know when i put out new videos and i'll see you next time